Hi Cancer, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. In this read, I'm going to look at you and your person and see how they feel about you, how you feel about them, what their next move is going to be. And so on, these messages are general, so they may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, you can always check your other placements. All right, so this person's energy towards Cancer. Is there energy? Okay. Could be a long distance situation for some of you. They could be a fellow Cancer. But I see that this pa this this patient, <laughs> this person is being patient. They could be a Sagittarius with temperance. They want a new start, but they're waiting for the right time. So they wanna they have this offer for you with the ace but they're waiting for the right moment. Some of you, this can be an engagement ring, the Ace of Pentacles, since I'm seeing that this person is waiting. So it could be a waiting for a, for a proposal or waiting to reconnect with you. Let me see what's Cancer's energy towards this person. What's Cancer's energy towards the person. Okay. Why are the the whole deck flipped. Yeah, some of you are some of you are kind of guarded when it comes to this person at the moment, I feel. I feel like it's just at this moment. You kind of don't know what to expect here, so you are holding back. Definitely holding back here. Some of you are wanting the truth. I feel like you you were lied to at some point. What's the recent past energy here? What went on in the recent past in this connection? My goodness. The way your cards are just flying is like... So some of you may have felt like you were waiting in the recent past. There could have been a reconciliation, this three of wands, where you waited and this person came forward and then Something could have happened again, but King of Cups, you guys are de there's definitely feelings here. There's definitely a lot of passion, but there was a point where some of you may have waited. Strong connection here with the High Priestess. What's the energy of this connection? Show me the energy. Okay. Hmm, this is real, real complicated. Okay, there's there's got there there's potentially gonna be a reconciliation here with the three of cups, but I'm seeing like wow. There's someone who's clingy in this connection, there's someone pushing someone away, or they feel pushed away here as well. So there could be a separation for some of you from what I'm seeing with these cards here, because I see like a single type of energy, but someone who's kind of clinging to someone, it could be the same, like for example, it could be the same person clinging and pushing away. So say for example, you are clinging to someone, but you're pushing them away as like defense, to like defend yourself, like a defense mechanism. Sometimes people push away the people that they love type of thing. So it could be you, it could be a person who's doing this. But there's, there's a strong connection, there's feelings. But there is this, I'm going to push you away before you push me away type of vibe going on. And I guess this person is just waiting for that to kind of calm down. Let me see. Here. Right. Give me some insight for cancer. So alone time, mirroring, mirroring each other. So that defensiveness, I feel like it's both of you like pushing each other away, but wanting each other. 
it's weird this is how love goes sometimes but we have divine timing connecting with the temperance card so again this person just, they're kind of just waiting all right there's gonna be like romance we have this romance card but in divine timing we have number 11 here yeah all happening in the right time let me look at your person's feelings see what they're gonna do next okay show me the person that cancer is dealing with how do they feel how are they feeling about cancer the hermit could be dealing with a virgo but they seem I feel like they're not mirroring they're not mirroring you yet, but they will start to mirror you. Show me this person that cancer is dealing with. Seven of Cups. This person can't make up their mind. It could be a Libra, Libra. It could be a Leo with the sun. Maybe a Libra since that wanted to come out. We have, wow, a lot of ones. A lot of ones, a lot of passion. Could be a Pisces or Cancer or Scorpio with the moon and the king of cups. But this person is being a mystery and they need to make up their mind they need to make up their mind. We have the Eight of Wands. They are wishing to come forward, but they are hoping they don't make the wrong decision. They are definitely in contemplation and trying to make a decision here with the Two of Wands and the, the um, Seven of Cups. So... We have the six of wands here. This person, they kind of just want to, they do admire you and they kind of want positivity here and just for things to work out. But there seems to be some kind of complication. I feel like it will come up soon. But we got the five of wands here as their next move. You might be dealing with someone who still wants to argue something out. They still feel conflicted within themselves about something. And they may come at you, they might come at you. They might be upset about something and they might come at you because they got the Knight of Swords. I feel like this person, this is, I feel like this was similar to the last read, where this person has a lot of frustrations within themselves that they're needing to just get out. They need to get this frustration out and We've got the, I feel like this person, they, they, they kind of want to explode. There's a lot going on within them emotionally and the moon is showing me that there's a lot of hidden emotions that you don't know about. Like, for example, the, the, the typical thing where they may have had some childhood issues. So they have the, these fears where they kind of bottle things up. They don't want to express their emotions and so they become overwhelming. And then they just want to explode. They just want to scream and argue, stuff like that. Where it's nothing to do with you. It's just this person has a lot of frustrations. The outcome is the Ace of Wands. So they do want a new start, but I feel like they need to blow off some steam. They're upset and they've been bottling things up. This person it doesn't have to be upset with you only. It could be they're like built up stuff from their past. Is what it looks like to me. So let me see. Show me cancer in this situation. Knight of Swords. All this, this Knight of Swords energy is like. I feel like this person is showing up as a Knight of Swords. How does Cancer feel? What's their next move gonna be? 
can come to expect here in this connection. Five of Swords in reverse. Eventually coming out of conflict. So that's good news. Eventually coming out. All right. again you have the page of swords again you could be dealing with a fellow cancer the chariot is here again ace of cups three of cups so the potential for reconciliation with the three of cups i see you guys reconnecting but we got the queen of wands very, very passionate about this person, some of you. Some of you might even be busy with other things as well. With that Queen of Wands, Two of Wands, and the Chariot. Mm. Some of you have mixed feelings about this relationship. Not really sure where it's going. You want it to move forward, but you're not really sure where it's going at this point because of how this person is right now. But the Page of Swords and the Knight of... Sorry, the King of Pentacles. You do wish for stability with that king of pentacles you want someone who's really stable someone you can have a committed relationship with or even marriage but you want the truth about something and you don't want to feel like you have to be on guard we have the eight of swords the ten of wands so some of you with this eight of swords you might be keeping yourself stuck here because some of you might be carrying this burden, this Ten of Wands, this is what's blocking. Releasing some type of burden could free you from the conflict, from the, from the Eight of Swords energy, feeling stuck. I'm seeing the need to free yourself here, or at least to not let this person's frustrations affect you personally. Your next move is the Fool, so I see you stepping out and doing something new, some kind of new beginning, some new chapter, or even taking the leap and reaching out to this person. But we have the Ace of Cups, Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is also indicating the end of conflict, ending the conflict. So Ace of Cups, position of what you need to know. I'm seeing two things here with this row down here. One is that you guys make up with this person and things go smoothly. There's an offer of love. Everything calms down, goes from this rough rough patch to a more, more calm place. Or there's a whole new love here because of this Ace of Cups and this Fool card. So it's either some of you release this burden and free yourself and move on, or you're making it right with this person. But currently this person just wants to fight because they have an, a fight going on within them. All right, messages for Cancer. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations. Help bring you together. We have, you deserve love. You are lovable. Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. We do have solitude over here. Keep that in mind. Um, so disconnecting and doing you for a while will help you. But some of you, it's either you're calling in this person as your soulmate or you're calling in someone new. But there's something. Something's going to happen. And when it does, whether you're with someone new or this person, it will ascend to a higher level of commitment. So this really is just a rough patch in your love life. We have some advice for Cancer. Nothing is set in stone. You do have the power to change your reality. We have you are you are very close to achieving your goal. Really, whole deck. A new start is coming, you see. It's either, a, yeah, look at that. 
a new romantic circle begins. Either you're with this person and starting over, or you're with someone new. It's one or the other, but there's a new start. That's why you have the Fool here as your next move and the Ace of Cups. There's some kind of new start in love. Question is with who? Only you know that. Could be with a Libra. We have Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Those are the main signs. But King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Queen of Wands, the fire signs. So basically this person, they, they're seeking, I'm hearing ticking time bomb. Uh, and this card here is showing underneath shattered, shattered glass. So is it that this person is gonna blow up, disintegrate or whatever? and then calm down and then make things work with you or are you just going to get fed up and leave them <laughs> to, and be with someone new i don't know it's up to you nothing is set in stone it's really up to you but i see a new start coming for you you're definitely going to get fed up with something put your foot down with this person or put your foot out the door is what i'm seeing but just know that they do they do have feelings for you. It's just that they have deeper feelings um, that are from their past that affect them, that they've bottled up, that they haven't let out. And this is just, it's like, cause I'm seeing a, I'm seeing a, like a Pepsi bottle which being shooken up and then it just explodes. So this is not really, you're not to blame for this. This person is, this would have happened with anyone. So it's either you're letting the storm pass and then seeing what happens with them or you're moving on, but it's up to you. Cancer, this is what I'm seeing for you. Check your other placements if you wanna know what else to expect here. I hope this was helpful for you. Leave a like if it was, subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.